Hello everyone, I welcome you once again to the Kingdom Mysteries channel as you already know and how we do it. Today we bring you another exciting message from our Father. And before we go ahead to give you the message for today, if you are a new subscriber, I would urge you to hit on that subscribe button and also hit on that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime we have I saw chapter 28, verse 14 to 15. I saw 28, 14 to 15. I said 28, 14 to 15. Wherefore hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. Because ye have said, we made a covenant with death and with hell, and we at agreement. When the overflowing sky shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Talking about covenants that people form with the devil. The twelfth thing we were talking about that day was covenants through fashion. Referring to jewelries, clothes, hairstyles. Jewelry has always had the connotation of idolatry, both biblically and historically. Rings, pendant, necklaces have always been used as charms for protection in those days. Some people use them for good luck, and this is a very sad thing. It is even more terrible now that we find plenty of preachers with giant rings on their fingers. And they raise their hand and wave it so you can see that there is a giant ring on the fingers. Almost all the cults, almost all the evil societies have their own big rings. So don't be surprised that the majority of the jewelry being sold in our markets are not ordinary. They have the ability to link you up to the demonic world, contrary to your own desire. And a lot of people have initiated themselves using this method. I pray that one day the Lord will open the eyes of the sisters and they will be able to see what harm they have done to themselves using jewelry and fashion. So what's in the case now we have men with chains all over the neck. And this has initiated and put people into uncommon, cleverly concealed covenants they are not aware of. And this is why when you go to a proper deliverance session, the first thing you are told is you must have this, all your jewelry, all your attachment, all those things, take them away. Hair styles also play a major role in some kind of worship. Your hair in the spirit realm represents your glory. If you decide by your own self to covenant your glory to the saloon, covenant it to a witchcraft power, it is your responsibility. The Nazareth vow in the Bible says they must not cut their hair in the Nazareth worship. And some other religions, they shave their heads clean. Many of the strange hairstyles we see today originate directly from the kingdom of darkness and they have been used to initiate so many young people into danger. Wigs and attachment have been used to cause so much sorrow for so many. Ah, you may say, I don't believe what he's saying. To be quite honest, I'm not begging you to believe, but I'm telling you the reality of what is going on and what is happening. I pray that anyone here who before they became serious had covenanted their ear with demonic powers, they shall be set free in the name of Jesus. They shall be set free in the name of Jesus. Anything outside your natural ear, that is any, any other extension after how long your ear is, is satanic. Whether it is cutting wood, chew wood, whether it is thread, now you've, your ear has stopped, then you continue after that time. Any other extension like that is satanic. That is the blunt truth. Whether it is wire, rubber, shoe, lace, cotton, cloth, satanic. And the hour you sit down, somebody spent three, two, three hours on your head. Within those two, three hours, your destiny may have gone. You cannot spend three hours in prayer, but you can sit down somewhere for somebody to walk on your ear for two, three hours. And to what is the case? The man you are trying to please and you want to kill yourself. The eyes are jumping all over the place. 
13. Coffee dance through music and dance. Covenants through music and dance. Music and dance have very strong influence over men. Music tears up somebody's fire inside. It fires up your adrenaline. If the music is demonic, all it will do to you is to excite the Babylonian demon in you. Just like somebody is boiling water. The music will agitate the demon that has not left your body finish. And it's a sad thing. To this purpose, many musicians have been sold out to Satan. And many musicians are heavily, heavily on the line. Capital letter, loaded with demons. And many of them are satanic worshippers. A person can be completely taken over by demons merely by listening to some music. It could be rock music, it could be punk rock, it could be afro, you can be possessed. It is still a tragedy of our nation that the best selling music is music that does not make sense to the life of man. The man is talking absolute nonsense. Oh, rap. He's just going around and around and around and talking blood about And if you see young people jumping up and getting excited, if God opens your eyes, you will see the agitation of Babylonian demons jumping up in them. All these native dances and traditional plays, if you check the origin, they come from the pit of hell. So maybe you have participated in them before. <laughs> you need to pray. You may need to stay in prayer for one month to get yourself delivered. Many have done these things in ignorance under the canopy of culture, 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 culture. This is a serious matter. And I want you to understand the harm we do to ourselves. And the way we allow the devil to just walk effortlessly. Close your eyes. Talk to the Lord yourself now. Anything that has entered into my life to pollute my destiny, clear away by the blood of Jesus. name we pray. 14. Governance through films and television. This is especially so when programs of demonic nature are offered to unsuspecting public. Late night horror films. We are watching those things. You are forming a covenant. Not only that, we have plenty of local films now who are deep, they, they do the films deep into witchcraft. And you sit down and watch them, they can influence your life. Many people have been reported overtaken by demons while watching films. Many of them have, been, have had to go for deliverance. When they are showing magicians and mediums and charmers performing on TV and you are staring at them to form a hidden covenant. There are plenty of things that, are, that go on on TV that a child of God should not behold. So now what's in the case? Internet has now come in. A lot of people are addicted to it and they are watching things they should not watch which forms, them, forms a covenant into their lives. You can get demonized through the internet depending on what you are watching over there. The internet world is like a sea of sharks. And if you are not careful, you get a shock into your spirit. Fifteen, there is covenant through toys that children use. Parents have to be very careful what toys are in the hands of the children. They bring toys representing spirits and give them to children. Plenty of clothes 
are also available now that have string inscriptions on them. They give them to children. They covenant those children. 16. Covenant by evil names. Covenant by evil names. In 1 Samuel chapter 25, 1 Samuel chapter 25, verse 25. 1 Samuel 25, 25. Let not my Lord, I pray thee, regard this man of Belial, even Nabal, for as his name is, so is he. Nabal is his name, and Foley is with him. For as his name is, that's what the Bible says, for as his name is, so is he. Your name or your family name could detect the boundaries of your life. To those who say there is nothing in the name, the Bible puts importance and emphasis on names. When Jesus was born, the angel pronounced, Thou shalt call his name Jesus, meaning Savior. But he shall save his people from their sins. Every one of the 400 names that the Bible calls God is telling us something about the personality of God, who he is. Many terrible names are available that people bear. When they call you family, who has brought this? But this God did not bring you, it's a father brought you. And now you are crying to the Almighty without changing that name. It forms a covenant that if not broken, it qualifies for the covenant that kill it. 17. Spiritual burial. This is where you have to listen to me very carefully now. Spiritual burial. That is, somebody has formed a covenant with death. At a stage, something went wrong. And a prophet or a native doctor asked you to construct a small coffin. And you went and did it. Some are even asked to sleep inside the coffin. You might have forgotten about all this. But it is an evil covenant. And it speaks death into everything you are doing. I pray that as many people as are here, and that is the situation they are facing, the Lord will deliver them in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and 18 is a religious covenant. You do not remain in a religion just because your parents were there. Every man will answer to himself before God. All religions that have to do with angel worship, incense burning, consumption of fruit every Sunday, perfumed waters, personal physical altars, kneeling to images, makes you to form covenant with strange religious spirits. And this is where a lot of people have been struggling to move forward in their spiritual life. They could not move. 19 is the picture covenant. That your former boyfriend that took a picture containing the two of you. That picture in his possession can be converted to evil use. Particularly when one partner gets born again and you are not interested and the man is still interested. The picture can be used as a covenant picture to trap your life. When such picture is in the possession of the enemy, it's a serious matter indeed. We handled a case recently. This couple got married, wife married as a virgin. They were married for months. They booked appointment to see the jail. That marriage did not take place in Mountain of Fire, somewhere else. They came and the wife spoke. The wife said, Excuse me, man of God, you must do something about this situation. Say, I've been married for six, seven months now, but I am still a virgin. Uh, I asked my what happened. I said, I don't understand you. Because I sleep with her every two, two days. So, what is he talking about? I'm still a badger, I'm still a badger. It became a big noise. I had to invite a nurse to check what is going on here. Nurse looked at the woman and checked her up. I said, Sir, the woman is a virgin. I said, Mr. Man, who do you sleep with every two, two days? It's this woman. I said, No. Before it was clear to us 
that on that matrimonial bed there was a second woman spiritual woman that the man cannot see the woman cannot see and each time he says he's sleeping with his wife he's sleeping with this extra unseen woman all as a result of somebody who had a picture a long time ago and determined that the man must not marry another woman your picture in the hand of the enemy can be used against you close your eyes beloved can you shout this loud and clear any picture of my life on any satanic altar catch fire in the name of Jesus it is important to pray something is up over there just say it, say it Jesus name we pray I want you to understand this very clearly I've seen a situation where a man's picture the man was 31 plus at that time was attached by a satanic prophet to a picture of a woman of 70 tied everything up with a candle and this young man does not want to see his wife anymore but run into a woman who was old enough to be his mother two times. I pray once again. Any power using your picture against you shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. <laughs> 20. Incest covenant. Incest is a very common thing in families. Especially in polygamous when there are plenty of male and female children. That your senior brother rubbing his hands on your breast as a lady is incest. All those kinds of things, the cause covenants that leads to broken homes later, unless you know what to do. I pray that the Lord will deliver such people in the name of Jesus. <laughs> 21. It's demonic parties. Not all parties are parties. Some parties are initiation material or extension of other people's lives. So you have to be very, very careful. A lot of people have attended such places and therefore they are by writing a letter to powers that will cut off their destiny. 22. The covenant of first sexual partner. The covenant of first sexual partner. Your first introduction to sex and how you were introduced has heavy spiritual significance. If it is done outside marriage, or you did it the devil's way, or you were raped, problems follow. And that problem may go for years unless you begin to cut off such covenant. When a person is into these covenants that kill it, you may be noticing problems that are resistant to cancelling or normal prayers. You pray the normal prayer, do your normal confession, they refuse to go away. When the covenants that kill it are in place, habits which are so difficult to break, like sexual looseness and masturbation will overshadow the person. A masturbating man or woman will have spirit wives and spirit, or spirit husband. When this kind of evil covenants are killed is in place, there will be constant worry, anxiety, depression, fears of all kinds, hearing strange voices, constant harassment in the dream, and all kinds of addictions. Addiction to drugs, addiction to alcohol, addiction to tobacco, addiction to food, addiction to gambling, Addiction to worldly music, addiction to Indian film, Chinese film, Yoruba films. When these covenants are in place, such people will be so eloquent at discussing the Bible, but they don't have a personal experience. They may be having constant accidents, uncontrollable anger, temper, and violence, excessive pride, constant financial failure, inability to concentrate. All these are signals. 
So there are things on ground that needs to be broken off. When you don't break them off, what will happen is that they will grow bigger. And as they grow bigger, they will cause you more trouble. When these evil covenants are in place, there will be strange diabolical dreams. You may see yourself as a prisoner, unable to escape, eating food you don't want to eat, having sex with all kinds of women and men. Something is telling you that it's something you need to break. The person may notice general frustration and backwardness. How do we break the covenant that kill it? This is where we're going to round up this message and start some prayers here tonight. How do we break this covenant that kill it? Number one, you must surrender all to Jesus. There is a difference between somebody coming to church and you have surrendered all to Jesus. There is a difference between you bearing Christian names and coming to church but, but having cleverly conceived sin in your life. God wants total surrender. Complete surrender. And without that complete surrender, it's going to be difficult to be free from any evil covenant. Number two, identify your own particular area. Generalized prayer is like taking part in a lottery draw. Your chances of winning is, is practically zero. But when you pray specific prayers, specific power will be released to, to release specific answers. In this area, you must be honest with yourself. If you have been putting the male organ inside your mouth and swallowing semen inside your mouth in the name of sex, you need to repent. Maybe even now you are going to rise already inside your throat because of what you and your husband practice or whoever is an evil covenant. And that should be, you identify your specific areas. Three, confess. You must be willing to confess everything to the Lord. Don't hide anything. Four, repentance. You must repent now. Just, you are determined to turn away from those areas. The Bible says, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whosoever confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. And the fifth thing you should do is to renounce it. Renunciation. Renunciation. And when you renounce those things, the Almighty will say, Okay, you are ready to be free now. After that renunciation, He says, You can begin to break the covenant. Break them. Specifically, break them to pieces. And this is why we're here tonight. Some are already in terrible danger. Some are already almost half eaten up. Some are already struggling with forces they don't understand. Some can't understand what is even going on. Some are already battling all kinds of things they should not really be battling. And they could not understand what's causing this. Anytime somebody said, in the name of Jesus, you this foul spirit, get out of that place. And the foul spirit says, no. What the spirit is saying is that there is a covenant. Something there somewhere. And until that is broken, the spirit will legally hold on to it and refuse to depart. We have pressed to pray here tonight. Let's rise up on our feet now. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are tonight and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very quickly now. By raising up your right hand where you are and saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Meet each and every one at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, and outstanding things in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have surrendered your life to Jesus in this program, You've taken the most important decision in life, and I rejoice with you. For more information, 
counseling and prayers kindly send your name and address phone number to the whatsapp number displayed on the screen you can also send us an email with the details displayed on the screen and we should be getting across to you shortly god bless you in jesus name amen all eyes closed as we pray this first prayer if you are in this meeting tonight and you can remember clearly that once upon a time in your life you took your clothes threw it into the forest or threw it into the water as you pray this first prayer find a way to this altar and pray the way you have never prayed here before because those clothes you threw into the river or you threw into the forest the covenant may still be binding upon you now everybody will shout this loud and clear Everybody will shout this loud and clear. The covenant! I sign to kill my testimony. You are a liar. The In the name of Jesus. For Santa Kata. Ribola Kotende Yabosha. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. This next prayer, the Lord says, 250 people will receive a deliverance and will move them forward. Shout this loud and clear. Say, Covenants using my glory in the name of Jesus. Let's deal with the satanic covenants using your glory. Deal with them now, deal with them now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Thou power God, in the name of Jesus. Ooh. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. Silence now. Shake that head now. Shake it. That's right. Shake it. That's right. The block of darkness upon the head. Break. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your children at the altar here. Any covenant form with their clothes, I break that evil covenant now. In the name of Jesus, any power that wants to use your clothes against you, let those powers be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Beginning from tonight, any covenant assigned to keep anyone in bondage, break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You will now pray this very deep prayer. Ancestral covenant. Program to derail my future. Pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. My future must not be delayed. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Bakapotarabo Santa. Daribokola Kapotarakanda. 
Mana sende ya boko shente la boko pola baraba. Bada katala kaya boko shente la boko senta. Bende ketene reke sepele kata. In Jesus name we pray. Father, I'm praying for these three people you are showing to me. Swallowed an evil material many years ago. And the covenant formed with those swallowed materials is working against them now. Right there where you are. Let the power of God fall upon their lives, O Lord. And let that yoke of what has been swallowed be broken now. That's the first person. That's number two over there. Number three. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We shout this loud and clear. Louder than anyone around you. Power of captivity. You are a liar. Ah! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and deal with that power of captivity. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. The Bible says, Thou hast ascended on earth. Thou hast led captivity captive. You will shout this louder than anyone around you. In boiling anger. Power of captivity. Assigned to stop me. Jesus Stop them before they stop you Stop them before they stop you But say take a tell you Riba poli katende kaba Manda kantenda rabo shente rabo koseta De rine ke poli kapende kayabo shanta Dana kapia de katira ka Stop them before they stop you In Jesus' name we pray. Pharaoh of my father's house. Goliath of my father's house. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, name we pray. Stretch your right hand. Father, this hands that are stretched forward. The word says, We shall lay our hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover. This hands that are stretched here, let them become the hands of healing, the hands of deliverance, the hands of power, the hands of strength, the hands of glory, the hands of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, let his hands become the battle axe of God. In the name of Jesus, 